Let's look at Turkey, where the prosecutor working on a high-level corruption case says the police have obstructed his work. Mamar Akas has now been removed from the case. The country's chief prosecutor says Akas was dismissed for mishandling it. Fed up and disillusioned with the powers running the country, they call for the prime minister to resign. This latest protest comes amid a major government corruption scandal. Police are investigating allegations of illicit money transfers to Iran and bribery for construction projects. We no longer believe that any institution in this country is run in a healthy way. There's bribery everywhere. The police don't even follow the prosecutor's orders. It feels as if no wheels are turning. Now there are accusations that branches of the state are at war with each other with the state prosecutor alleging police obstruction of a corruption case in an open letter to the Turkish press. He alleges he issued arrest warrants for a number of celebrities, including, it is rumoured, Erdogan's son on accusations of bribery. The prosecutor then claims the police warned those due to be arrested so they could flee. Already there have been street protests about the corruption allegations, and Erdogan's enemies will be seeking to exploit his current weakness, which is also a national one as the Turkish currency is being hammered on the foreign exchanges and the stock market is falling over fears of political instability. A dramatic um, struggle going on. Um, there's been reports that over 400 policemen have, been, have either lost their job or have been reshuffled. Uh, prosecutors have either been reassigned or taken off the case or had new people added to their, to their uh, uh, court, to their... Um, uh, office. Um, there's a new Minister of Justice as, as part of the cabinet reshuffle uh, that, that took place uh, in the last two days. So certainly they're doing their best to contain the, uh, the crisis, but there is a sort of creeping sense that, you know, how much longer can, can this, this uh, um, go on without the Prime Minister himself um, saying, yes, I'm responsible. <laughs> Everybody is aware that this is not a corruption probe, but this is an obvious conspiracy, a setup against Turkish politics and people. On Wednesday, protesters in three major cities accused the Prime Minister of covering up corruption within his government. With local and national elections due next year, the scandal could pose a challenge to Erdogan's 11-year hold on power.